Hi guys, in this video we're going to make a butterfly cake. I've got a reasonably thin cake board here that I'm cutting in half. It's just a little bit smaller than my cake. So my cake is 10 inches and I'm just going to mark where halfway is so that I can divide my cake into two. You can see I've used four thin layers of cake with a bit of buttercream in between. You can use whatever cake you want. So I'm just going to place these on top of my little bits of uh, cake card that I cut out earlier. So the cake card's a bit smaller than the cake itself and we're going to cut a small triangle out of each of these so you see I've moved them round so that the straight edge is now on the outside the curve is on the inside to create the butterfly wings and then we're just rounding off that corner a little bit and then if you want a bit more shape to it I'm just going to cut out some little triangles so the cake doesn't look as flat when we ice it you don't have to do this bit if you prefer to just have it completely flat that's fine so curving those edges just taking a little bit off that edge and again on the inside so it dips further down in the middle we're going to take that little curve off that edge there. Now if your cake crumbles a bit like mine is doing you can always put it in the freezer for 15 minutes just to firm it up a bit and then between the top and the bottom wing I'm cutting like a little V and we're buttercreaming all the way around these now so try and keep it as smooth as you can. This is my least favourite part um, I'm not a fan of the buttercreaming bit so do that on both of them and then what I'm going to do is I'm just placing it on another board that's clean. Again, it doesn't have to be a cake board. Anything that you want to rest it on is fine. Um, it's just for me to ice it. I'm going to take it off this in a minute. And I've got a selection of uh, pre-coloured fondants that I'm going to use. So I've gone for a, a light purple colour. Roll it out reasonably thin and that will drape that over your wing and then just press lightly all the way over it with your hands, making sure that you've pushed into all those dints that you've cut and then around the bottom edge and then we're going to trim off all the excess fondant from the bottom there. So you've got your basic wing. Now it's got quite a lot of fondant on, so if you don't like fondant, it might be worth taking some of these bits off when you do cut into it. But I find that with the children's cakes, the children seem to really like the fondant. And we're just making lots of teardrop shapes now in different sizes to create a bit of patterning on the wing. Now at the moment we're just using the same colour that we used for the wing itself. So I'm trying to keep my larger teardrop shapes in the corners of the wings the top and bottom corner and then we'll do some smaller ones around them. Again you can you can change the patterning around a little bit if you want. We'll make this one a little bit more heart shaped. So it's a teardrop just with a little nick in the top that we've just pushed in with the knife and then we're just going to add a couple of lines. I'm just using my modelling tool to push in these lines and then softening them a little bit with my fingers and then we'll go for pale pink next. So I'm going for a much larger teardrop now that's going to go a bit more into the centre of the wing. Give a good firm press on. If it's not sticking you can just put a little bit of water under the fondant which will make it go a little bit tacky and that will help it to stick. And then we're going to go with some little circles as well as teardrops now. And then another large teardrop, a slightly smaller one. Play around with the patterning a little bit, see where you like it best. So I'm going for some little circles, give them a squidge down to flatten them. And we're putting these in the fat end of some of those purple teardrops that we've done. And then we'll do some tiny teardrops again in pink put these around some of the purple ones and then just to give a bit more depth we're brushing on a little bit of colour so make sure the colours you're using are edible on this and it's a bit of a pearlised purple one that I'm using I'll put links in the description box below to everything that I have used and I'm using a deeper one as well to just go over those very corners anywhere that you think there would be a shadow normally would be where you'd put your darker colours and it's just going to give it a little bit of a pearlised shimmer and then we've got a pink. Now this one I've actually dyed. So I've taken some white fondant and I've dyed it in a fuchsia pink. And again, we're just rolling lots of little balls. Try and get them a little bit smaller if you can as you go around. Do a few on the top and a few on the bottom. Like that. And I've got a bit more of my coloured dusts. So these are just rainbow dusts that I'm using. This one's a pink. And just brushing a little bit of that onto the corners of some of those teardrops. Now, I've got a cake board here. I've just iced in green fondant and I've just put a little mark where the centre is Ooh, and a bit of my chocolate cake's dropped onto it and I'm just going to place the wing on there like that now just stick a little bit of buttercream underneath the wing in place so you know it's not going to go anywhere and you're going to do exactly the same with the other wing and add that to the board and then what I'll do is we'll just add a few leaves so I've got some of the green left over from when I've iced the cake board so the leaves again are just a bit of a teardrop shape make sure you've got a point on the end and then we're going to draw in a line up the middle and then some little lines coming off the side of that central line. And I'm just going to put these around the board, just so it doesn't look too plain in the background. 
For the roses, I've just got a bit more of that pink left that we used on the wings. So I've rolled a sausage shape, flattened it down a little bit with my hands, and then you're going to roll that up and it'll form a little swirl that looks a bit rose-like and then we're going to stick these in place on the board. Now for these I've just put a little bit of water underneath these to stick them in place but you can use edible glue or even royal icing if you prefer. And for the body I've got some more of my fondant that was left in the fuchsia colour. So again it's like a, a really long teardrop shape and I'm going to indent some lines around it. I've got a smaller ball that I'm just going to push on the top of that and then oh, go for a slightly larger ball. It's a little bit more oval in shape and we'll push that onto the top of there like that. And then we're going to just use a tool to push in a little semicircle for the smile. And now I've got some black fondant and we'll just roll a little sausage shape with a point at either end and that's just going to stick on so that she looks like she's got her eyes closed. And again you can add a bit of dust or the coloured dusts to the edge of the butterfly's body. And then she's just going to rest in the centre of the wings like so. So there you are, you can see you're all finished. You can do them in any colours that you like and it'd be nice to see everybody's butterfly cakes. If you do want to send me them, feel free to pop over to my Facebook page and send me pictures of your creations. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video and would like to see more, please click on the images of the other videos suggested. Also, please do subscribe to my channel using the button at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. You can also visit my cake website and my Facebook page to see more cakes and ideas.